Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Delena and you are watching Brown Girl Lux. If you have not already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, turn on that notification bell so you do not miss any of my uploads. Today I am sharing my 2022 luxury wish list. So if you're interested in hearing about all the items that made it to this list, then keep on watching. <laughs> So I have my phone here because I want to talk through my luxury wish list with you all. I'm super excited. Um, I have way more handbags on this list than I imagined. Um, and that's mainly because y'all know I'm a handbag kind of girl. If it comes down to me choosing a new pair of shoes, new jewelry, I'm typically going to go with a handbag. And since I have so many handbags on my list this year, I just feel like I had to cut down the other wants on my list so other areas slgs actually i don't have any slgs this time i have one pair of shoes and a couple of like jewelry pieces but everything else is bags so let's start with the non-handbag items so the first thing that i do want is the louis vuitton iconic earrings i want these in gold these are super duper cute um y'all know i'm a stud earring kind of girl so anytime there's some cute studs coming out from one of my fav favorite brands, nine times out of 10, I'm going to want them. I saw a couple on Dior that I liked, but none that I loved as much as these. So I definitely have to have these. You all know how much I love my Essential V stud earrings. So it's no surprise that I would want another pair from LV because I just love their jewelry in general. But yeah, those are super cute. I need them. They do come in a bling style, but I've told y'all time and time again, when it comes to like the bling, I like it, but then I'm kind of just like, if one of the studs come out, I'm going to be a little bit irritated. So I think I'm going to pass on that. I want them in the gold. So the next jewelry piece is coming from Hermes and I want the Click H bracelet. Now I'm not sure what size I want, meaning, uh, or not size, color. I'm not sure what color I want. I either want the um, nudie kind of color or I want it in white. Um, I kind of like the pink, but I'm just like, I'm not going to wear that. So I'm just going to leave that at the store. I don't want black because y'all know I just wear black all the time. So I don't really try to grab black jewelry. So I don't want black jewelry. Um, so I think the white or the nude. Now, maybe if I buy this in store, my mind will change if they have several different options to choose from. But at this exact moment, I think the white or the nude color is what I would want. The next thing I want is the Just Include bracelet. So this is something I would want possibly for my birthday. So I turned 35 this year, so halfway point to 40. That sounds crazy, but <laughs> I think that's something that I would want to like gift to myself. If not that, then definitely a handbag. But I think the Just Include bracelet, I think I want that just in the small size. I wear my ring all the time, as you all know. So to me, that bracelet, I think I would really enjoy. I do not want the love bracelet because I don't like that whole process of like screwing it off to take it off and on. And I know I do not want to wear jewelry every day because I just don't and I'm not going to start now. So that bracelet to me, is not going to be it for me it's very beautiful but it's just not my preference then the next item so oh one more jewelry item so the dior necklace so this is the dior revolution choker so it's somewhat similar to the current choker i have but this one says dior going across it it does have a little bling now i am a little bit skeptical about the bling because y'all know my little dior earrings with the bling i did have like a little stone stud come up out of it so i'm a little bit irritated with that so I don't know for sure if I'll really pull the trigger on this, but I do want another necklace similar to the one I have, but just maybe slightly different. So if something else comes about, this could possibly be replaced. But at the moment, I think I do really want this. That is it from a jewelry standpoint. The next thing is shoes. So I only have one pair of shoes on my wish list, and I don't even know for sure if I really want these because I need to see how they look on my feet. It's those new Gucci platform slides. So they're like the brown with like the tan detail. They're super cute. Y'all remember the platform slides that they brought out. They have them in several different styles. I want the ones that came out most recently. It kind of came out around the time that the Balenciaga Gucci um, collaboration dropped. So I definitely want that. So those. I want to see how they look on my feet because if they don't look cute on my feet or they're too heavy, I'm going to leave them. But those are a pair, the one pair of shoes that I would definitely consider buying in 2022. Now, handbags. 
<laughs> so I have several bags on my list and I'm kind of a little bit ashamed because I'm just like all these bags that I picked most of them are over two thousand dollars close to two thousand dollars so they're up there for sure let me start with the bag that I truly truly want this year the Dior saddle bag now I'm blaming Keiko Beauty and our girl Dominique um she watches my channel all the time so if you're watching hey girl hey listen she showed this video or she showed this bag in one of her vlogmas videos she was out Keiko was out with um Dominique on like a dinner date and as soon as I saw that bag all the crap I talked in my like bag it or trash it video all that went out the window because I was like oh no I need that bag I need it so from Dior that's probably the only bag I have my eyes on I do like the Lady Dior but I'm still a little bit skeptical about the lambskin heart or lambskin leather um just because I seen it in store and like just touching it it's it can get easily scratched and I know that would bother me so that may be a bag that I would consider buying pre-loved I'm not sure but offhand that may be one that I would buy pre-loved so if it gets scratched up kind of quickly I won't be so disappointed but the saddlebag I have to have that I've already told my husband I need that for either our anniversary birthday I need that bag and I kind of need it sooner than later so anniversary my anniversary time frame would be perfect y'all know I got married May 31st so that would be perfect I would have it all summer long the next bag this bag has kind of made it to my list previously and it's made its way back uh Balenciaga hourglass bag now the reason why this bag has like went off my list came back is because I saw it last year in Miami because that was the bag I was initially thinking about getting before I got my Louis Vuitton Spring Street but when I saw it in store it didn't really give me what I was hoping that it would give right like I don't know the quality on that looked kind of iffy however I was looking at a display so it's very well possible that the display was just kind of beat up a little bit and maybe I just should have asked to see an, another one from the back who knows but I just wasn't in love with it but for some reason this bag just speaks to me mainly because it's top handle so I think I want to see this bag again from a color standpoint I don't know what color I'm definitely thinking I would want it in another color not necessarily black especially if I get the Dior saddle bag then I wouldn't necessarily want this in black but I'm not sure of the color that I will want at this moment but I do really really like that bag next bag this is one that I'm thinking about like sooner so maybe like Valentine's Day the Gucci Affidia mini bag I really like this handbag um, I saw someone on my Instagram with this bag and I was trying to figure out who it was because I was trying to go back and see like how they styled it and for whatever reason I can't find it but this little bag is super duper cute they just brought it out in a white and i would have loved it if they kept the red and green detail but they went with the red and blue gucci why y'all do that why y'all couldn't do the white like all the white leather and then do the uh red, uh, red and green trimming instead of the red and blue that would have been fire i would have definitely wanted the white one because that would have been a summer bag for me but I don't know why they did that but I still just want the original version it's under a thousand dollars so definitely one that's pretty affordable next bag that I'm thinking about is also coming from Gucci it is the Gucci Affidia bucket bag so I saw this bag around the time I went to go look at the bag I got for Christmas I really like this now the only reason why I'm thinking that maybe I wouldn't want this so much is because I'm not a crossbody bag kind of girl and really not even shoulder style bags are my favorite you know what I mean from like a going out standpoint I don't grab those bags too often so I'm not sure but I do really really like it so and I've watched a few reviews um reviews on the bag and a lot of people that have it really love it so I'm just I'm just not sure if this is one that I'm gonna be racing to get but I do really really like it and I like the price point $12.50 is not bad at all but I just need to make sure this is something that I'm really going to carry because just because I like it doesn't mean that it's going to be something that I'm actually going to use. So I'll come back to that and kind of let y'all know maybe halfway through the year if that's something I want or if I have it by then great. But at the moment that's not like a top top bag on my list. The next bag is the Fendi bucket bag. So this one is a little bit um, it's been out for a while. Um, it's the brown and black version. They do have it in all in all black. I definitely want the brown and black. I really like the combination of that. Um, that one's about 1950. So under 2000. So not too bad. Um, this would be a bag I would consider getting for like 
I don't know if this is one I would ask my husband for. I probably would buy this one myself if I really decided 100% on it. I love it to death at the moment, but I'm still not like 100% sure that I want it but I really really like it I think it's one I just need to see in store I've never saw this in store I've seen plenty of folks with it but I've never seen it like or even touched it to really just know 100% if this is going to be work for me but I know that I want to add some type of bucket bag to my handbag collection this year so I don't know if some uh, some other brand will come out with something that maybe I'll enjoy more but at the moment that's the one that I like along with the Gucci so we'll see which one probably if I got one I wouldn't get the other so we'll see how that goes um so the last bag <laughs> now this is one that was on my list yet last year and it's worked its way back onto the list this year it is my um or it is <laughs> the Bottega Veneta Jody bag so you all know that this was on my list for my birthday when I went to the Bottega Veneta store, they did not have the Jody in any of the colors that I would have wanted it in. So that's why I did not grab it. Um, and then in that moment, I was really sold on the Jody pouch, which I really love that bag. That bag, I can see for me, is going to be a very like heavily used handbag in the spring, summer. Um, again, that's another bag that I got right in going into fall. So that's why you haven't seen it recently. But I know for a fact that going into the spring, summer this year, it will be grabbed just because it's super cute and it fits a lot more than you think it would. If you did not watch my video where I showed like what fits inside, definitely check that out because it fits quite a bit. But I want the Jody bag and I think I still want it in that kiwi color. There are some other colors out there that um, I would consider as well. But at the moment, I think I still want the kiwi bag. So let me know what you all think about the bags that I mentioned today. Again, I'm just not 100% sure. Um, but I know from a 100% a standpoint, the Dior saddlebag, I have to have it. The... The Jody bag, I don't know if I necessarily have to see it in store again. I just, I have to be able to get the color I want and I have to be sure that that's the color I want. Other than that, all of these items on my list, I feel like um, are very much so attainable. Again, probably won't get every single thing because as you all know, we're relocating this year. And um, <laughs> if I go through this bag list and add up all the bags, we're talking over $10,000 in handbags. Um yeah no we'll, we'll see we'll see um at the moment i definitely don't think i'll be getting everything but if i end up with the dior saddlebag and maybe all the other items i mentioned non bed they're non handbags i would be super happy so we'll see how this year goes from a um luxury handbag shopping standpoint because i have well over I don't even know anymore i have at least 24 handbags now so luxury handbags so at this moment <laughs> Do I really need any more? No. So if I had to take a break from bags this year, I certainly could because I have plenty of options in my collection and I have some in my collection that just don't get enough love as it is. So, you know, maybe I'll consider selling something this year. I don't know. I guess I just have to see how I feel because I really love everything in my collection and the ones that I would consider selling, they didn't even cost that much. So I'm just like, do I want to sell it? Who knows? But that is my luxury wish list. So, I don't know what you all were expecting because when I was going through trying to do this list, I was trying to find like some things that I normally wouldn't be grabbing, looking at like the ready to wear. But you know, I'm just at a standpoint right now where, you know, my weight is kind of all over the place. So I don't know if I want to add any like luxury clothing. Um, I think for me at this point, more handbags, a little bit more fine jewelry. I think that's kind of what I want to stick with in 2022 and maybe going into 23. I'll think about some ready to wear pieces, but at the moment I'm just like, eh, not really my vibe, not something I feel like I need. Um, definitely want to invest more in clothing, but not necessarily designer clothing. I could go get some cute stuff from Zara, Aritza, Aritza places like that I'll be more willing to shop places that like that um, versus saying I'm spending $800 on a shirt so we'll see I may change my mind but at the moment I don't have anything that I've saw ready to wear that just has me like oh my gosh I really need that but yeah so I hope you all enjoyed this list let me know in the comments if we share anything that you know you have in your collection already or if something I mentioned today is something that you may want to grab in 2022 let me know in the comments down below I do appreciate all of your love and support please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video with your family and friends and I'll see you all in my next one